What's up? This is Bone Sickle, and today Abstract and Drunk and I are going to show you how to get the Overseer Trophy. Pain and Drunk and I originally got the trophy together, and today I'm playing on my Zen Genius account where Drunk and I are helping Abstract get it, and these two guys are helping me make this video. So I want to point out that we have another video put up titled Monastery uh, Rocket Spawns Explained, and I'd really recommend that you watch that first because it totally explains to the best of my ability how the rocket spawns work and how to exploit them and exactly what to expect and I'll be referencing stuff like that uh, so before we get started I want to point out the six spots where rocket guys will spawn and we number them so we call this number one if you're counting from left to right from coming out of the church um, this is number two uh, number three I'm shooting at right now and the last three are on the library so number four will be over here number five will be the top of the library and number six will be that right hand side so two guys are just gonna stay right here on these steps throughout this uh, trophy getting experience and this is the tall tower where snipers spawn we don't give that a number because we don't need to but it's important to point out that snipers also spawn in the number one, number two, and number three spots. And if a sniper does spawn there and you don't kill him, then he will block that spawn point, meaning that no rocket guys will spawn there as long as that sniper's there, which is very important to notice. Now, rocket guys that spawn over here will shoot from there and there. That's important to notice. And then there's the five and six spots I shoot at again. But we're also going to completely block the number four spot. That is the secret to making this so incredibly easy. So snipers will never spawn on the number four spot if you do this correctly. So we're going to get started here. And this is actually after dying. And uh, so the rocket thing is in full effect. And I'm watching the number three and four spots. Since there's six spots where rockets spawn and three players, uh, you know, one person watches number one and number two. One person watches three and four, which is what I'm doing. And... Uh, I think somebody else needs to watch five and six um, and then we're in this break which like I said all of this gets explained in the other video that we put up titled um, monastery rocket spawns explained so the pac-man comes out I get the pack 80 from over here and I'm killing him to death with that you notice no rocket guys are out nobody's shooting at the statue because we're in a break and the break will end once we kill three or four people so we want to make sure that the Pac-Man is one of the people that we kill, or the brute, whatever you want to call them. So we're just setting up shop. Um, drunk and abstract are hanging out over there near the steps, taking care of each other in case uh, you know one of them needs to get healed or whatever. And like I said, we're not killing anybody else. Um, the very easy to move around when um, you're in these breaks if you just keep rolling. Uh, to quote Limp Biscuit, just keep rolling 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 and the snipers won't be able to hit you you can like pretty much move past most of these other guys so pac-man drops and uh i run out here get his ammo which i just did even though i got elbowed in the face and uh i'm gonna reload and i'm going over here to where the number four guys spawn all right i'm not going to where they stand and shoot I'm going to where they actually spawn from which is way up these steps back here and as long as i'm standing here they won't spawn it'll glitch the game out same thing we did for the unstoppable trophy to make that so easy and i'm actually going to put this in fast forward here you see um abstract run over here and get that sniper rifle i put it in fast forward because we're in a break and as long as we don't kill anybody we're not spawning the next wave of rocket guys so i mean like several minutes went by and i didn't want this to be a 20 minute video so i'm speeding things up just a little bit here um we know that once we start killing some people, we're going to start spawning the next wave. And so I'm getting in position. I'm watching my thing up here. And uh, Elena's going to say, hurry up, Nate. You see that subtitles at the bottom? That's very helpful to notice. This wave is only going to have three rocket guys. And it just so turns out that none of them spawn in my number three window that I'm watching. So I'm communicating with my teammates. Um, I know, you know how many rocket guys they're killing so once we've killed three we know we're in the second break and we can run around and get some more ammo or do whatever we have to do which is what happens and uh, I'm gonna put this back and fast forward at that point actually and um, you see me keep hitting select to check 
uh, the total number of kills because um, that's helpful to know. You see Drunk run over here to get that sniper rifle that Abstract already got. Once again, it's very helpful to communicate with your teammates. Always let each other know where you're at, where you're going, what you're doing, what you did. Um, so we run around, get some more ammo, do some stuff like this and that. And uh, once again, we've got an entire video series of how to beat this map on crushing. Uh, in case you're having trouble getting to this point. Obviously, if you want to get the trophy, you have to get to this point. First of all, and the next wave is going to start as soon as Nate says, uh, I've almost got it. And that's going to be the last wave. Like I said, the other video really breaks down exactly what's going on and shows gameplay from the position of the other players who are on those steps over there where they come out of the church. And um, this video, obviously, you're seeing gameplay from the position of the player who is blocking the number four spawn point. So. Once Nate says, uh, I've almost got it, you're going to get one rocket guy that spawns and then two grabbers. And once they're done, then uh, you're going to get five more rocket guys. And as long as you're communicating with your teammates effectively, um, you'll know when they're all done. And we come into this all with army of three because that way, here's the grabbers now, that way when... Uh, you see a armored rocket guy like right there boom I click on army of three unload on him and he just drops instantly because there will be three armored rocket guys in each game they never spawn in the very first wave they spawn in some combination between the second and the third wave but there will be three total doesn't mean that you'll ever see one um, if you're watching your windows they might spawn in your other teammates windows you never really know so anyway you communicate with your teammates and once you know that you've killed that fifth rocket guy after the grabbers or the sixth rocket guy total after um that third i've almost got it wave starts then you know that you're done with the rocket guys and you can just clean up the ground crew because the metal and therefore the trophy will not pop until you've killed everybody so you do kind of want to be careful as you're you know cleaning up the ground because you obviously you don't want to die um I mean, it is still, you know, a game, and you're playing on crushing. So I'm running around. I actually uh, could have wasted these heavies much easier with the pack 80, but I wanted to use it for the next section because we are going to end up going ahead and beating the level out. But um, like I said, once you lay waste to everyone else out here, you'll see the metal pop as soon as you get a checkpoint. And momentarily later the trophy will pop and once again these trophies stack so if you have not um, done this on hard boom curator you will get the silver and the bronze trophy together but I had already done it on hard on this account so so he says uh-huh bling there's the overseer trophy and I really hope this video has been helpful check out the other video if you hadn't because everything make more sense uh, so he says deuces good luck